Welcome back, Dos Pueblos. We hope you had a fantastic summer. I know I did. I'm happy to be back in the studio and bringing you DP News. For the first time this year, DP, DP News, News starts, starts now. at times a fatal disease. Often referred to as Lou Gehrig's disease, it is a progressive neurodegenerative disease that affects nerve cells in the brain and the spinal cord. Many people are affected by it, and one of our teachers, Mr. Lewin, has a cousin who has been living with it for 40 years. Yesterday, 62 teachers and staff joined the thousands of people across the nation who are spreading awareness by dumping buckets of ice water over their heads. They will also be donating to the cause and are challenging San Marcos and Santa Barbara teachers to try and match our support and spirit. Please join the Dos Pueblos Theater Company this weekend for a barbecue to welcome all new freshmen and returning students. There will be food and games as well as introductions by DPTC leadership. We encourage anyone interested in theater to come out to Goleta Beach tomorrow, Saturday, August 30th at 1.30 p.m. to join us as we start off an exciting new school year. Musical theater students are Skyping with Marty Thomas today during sixth period. He's done tons of MTV music videos and movies. If you don't have a sixth period, you can go ahead and check it out. Alice in Wonderland auditions are on Tuesday, September 2nd from 3 to 5.30 in the EPAC. If you're more of a behind-the-scenes kind of person, there are many great opportunities doing sets, costumes, publicity, lights, and so much more. Now let's go over to our very own Big Kahuna in the Greek. Thanks, Connor. As you can see, I'm pretty chill right now, even though it's really hot. Today in the Greek is a lounge day. Be there, you know it's gonna be fun. Also, thank you Scott Kuten Tag for nominating the leadership class for the Ice Bucket Challenge. We'll be doing that tomorrow after lounge day. <laughs> so, come on out to the Greek today and watch us leadership students get soaked. Work permits expire on Monday. Students who are currently working on or planning to work need to pick up a new form and fill it out as soon as possible. Forms can be picked up in the Career Center. I'm Connor. And I'm Macy. We'll see you Tuesday after our three-day Labor Day weekend. Oh, and don't forget, our first varsity home football game is tonight at 7 against Pacifica. Let's all gather in the gold mine to start this year off with lots of school spirit. So how's your summer? I wasn't too bad. How's yours? Hey, Kazumi. Hi, Max. Do you want to go out with me? Oh, um, you're a really great friend, but... Got no game? We all know high school kids don't like to get up before 6 a.m., but from last January to June, the entire Dos Pueblos high school football team is lifting weights before most of their classmates were eating breakfast. The Chargers reported to the weight room every school day at 6.30 a.m. in what they call zero period. It was not enjoyable at first, but it became more tolerable as the players came together. DP is zero in on making the playoffs this year after losing its last game in November, which cost them a postseason berth last season. Or I'd wake up at 5 30 every day. I would not want to go to weights at all, but when 60 other kids are waking up at 5 32, you, kind of, you have to, it brings the team together. And we all worked hard at that zero period. Uh, it taught us a bunch of uh, discipline and showed us a uh, really good work ethic. You know, I want them to be tough, and I want them to be dedicated, and I want them to be blue-collar guys, you know. Um, and, and I feel like they, they do reflect that, and, uh, you know, it, it makes me proud. Yes. This solid, tough, and experienced DP team opens the season next Friday at home against Pacifica.